Uh, howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese. Welcome back to our wonderful adventures in Tekkit, Maine, Tekkit Space, Tekkit to the Moon and back. And today is moving day. Not exactly. We we have to have somewhere to move to. It's very important to me that we have a place to move to before you know we actually start the move. Also, I've tweaked the colors once again. I've been going back to the the earlier episodes of these uh, this series and like throwing them next to like the past few episodes. I'm like, oh, it's washed out. It looks wrong. I, I don't know why. I definitely have you know like the color settings on the GPU in the gaming PC. They're lined up to match the you know settings. And OBS, you know, so there's not like a color profile mismatch or anything like that. It's just for some reason looking a little bit washed out, looking a little bit wrong. Also, even though you can see these blocks, I'm having trouble with it. And this is after I thought that I'd fixed the monitor last time. But then again, this is a quite a dark material. So I don't know. It it's so hard to to see what I'm doing. So this entryway is is quite wide, actually. Um it's it's five wide. So what's going on over here? Oh, you know what? I see what's going on. These need to go away. Okay. And then this is going to have to be like this. And then you know what we haven't really talked about around here? Is how we're going to be styling the walls into the roof. Uh, I, I don't know. You know, it's it's not really something that we need to worry about right now either. What I'm worried about is getting out, out here and building a platform. Because what I've come to realize, and I'm sure many of you have also noticed this... This is a small volcano. It's a very skinny volcano. And having a base inside of this volcano is just not plausible unless it's a series of very small rooms that get even smaller as they go up. So it's not going to work. I liked the idea of launching the rocket from the middle of the volcano and having it shoot out the top. But that's where the lava is. That's our light source. Also, sandstone. I was thinking about this, right? Uh, I was I was editing a video and I was like, why don't we just use lamps? I can make an uh, inverted uh, white lamp, and that looks close enough to marble, doesn't it? And then we could just have a glowing floor. But then I actually looked into the recipe here, and uh, bone mill and glowstone. I mean, if we had some way to transmute items more quickly and easily than what we have currently with project, you know, like project E, that would be way better than equivalent exchange three, which is what's in this pack. And, my gosh, I, I don't know. I, I think we're going to, we need to start shooting for the stars, or at least the moon. Um, the stars is a bit of a stretch. I'm pretty sure there's only one place we can go. We can build a space station, but that's not really going somewhere. That's that's making a place to go to. And I guess you have to go to outer space. Outer? You got to go to outer space. If you want to make yourself a space station. Uh, <clears throat> That's what I talk like when my mouth is sewn shut. Well, I guess not my mouth. What's happening there is I'm talking with my tongue not moving. You know? Like if I had a numb tongue. Like Jar Jar Binks when he gets hit with the pod racer. My tongue is numbing. But my tongue is numbing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Ugh, I'm so out of the habit with these sorts of things. Um, I was actually I was talking to my friend about this the other day. I was like, oh yeah, I've decided to... Uh, I'm going to go back and finish that one series, and they're like, why? I was like, ah, I hate to leave things undone. And they're like, that's the most Reese thing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, respect it, though. I was like, well, well, thank you. I appreciate that. So, you know, but I did I did definitely have to explain because it seemed nonsensical why I would return to this by choice. Uh, I, oh, my gosh. I have a problem. Oh, no. You you folks aren't good. Uh, the, the, oh, I can't stop. I can't look away from it. I, for a second there, it was so dark, I couldn't see the roof. So I looked down at the capture PC screen, which is capturing in, in darn near real time, thanks to, you know, PCIe capture cards. But I, I looked down at that, and I started using that because I can see a little bit better than on the, the my main gaming screen. I can't look away from it. I'm still looking at it. It's not better. I need to stop. I can't stop. Why can't I stop? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to peel my eyes away. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Okay. There we go. I that was a genuine effort. It might sound like I'm joking, but for some reason my eyes were just glued to that lower screen and I couldn't look away. They're still down there. They're still they're still trying to go back down there. I'm gonna have to like turn the screen off or something to avoid this. 
Uh, we're not going to record this entire thing. Well, we're going to record it. I'm not going to sit here and make you listen to me babble on because uh, Babylon, it's more than an empire. It's a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> it's dumb <laughs> so dumb uh, I'm sorry <laughs> uh, I'm in a good mood I had ice cream earlier so I'm, I'm feeling particularly happy uh, sugar does that to a person right sugar sugar cools the soul or warms the soul ice cream cools it so my soul is now in the perfect state of cool and 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 hot that's what I'm trying to get at here so uh, let me just kind of give you a brief idea of what's going to happen. We're going to come off of here, and we're going to have a big platform, kind of elevated off the ground. We'll have some pillars going into the ground to support it, and then we'll put like a little roof on top of it, maybe coming right off the, the volcano and kind of going around, and we'll have to build it out of a material. What are we going to build the roof out of? Are we going to build it out of sandstone? Are there sandstone steps? Can we build that? Hold on. Let me, well, I mean, we can have any kind of step we want, right, because we've got carpenter stairs. Let me see what we got with sandstone. Oh, oh, it warms the cockles of my heart. Sandstone stairs. It warms my heart the way you love my raisins, big guy. If you know what that's from, you know, maybe keep it to yourself and don't admit it. You know, it's it's not it's not a badge of honor, really. I did make more cookies. I don't think we touched on that in the episode where I made the cookies, but we were going into the nether, and so it's been a couple episodes ago now. But I just, I really needed a food source, and it seemed like a good idea to go in there with that. Now, of course, we did start up an operation to get more sand uh, using pulverized cobblestone from our mining apparatus down here, which we have not yet... There we, go, we can manually sort it. We haven't started sorting these things off into other containers. I'm not too worried about it filling up right now, though, because it seems to have plenty of space. Although it is, it is going pretty quick. I don't know if you all knew this, but you can actually tell the strength of the beam... Or how much power is going through there by looking at the beam. So you see the little blue beam, and then as it goes up there, the little beam gets a little bit bigger as each subsequent beam joins it. So if you look through here, you see how, how bigger that... Uh, you can't really... Ah! They do kind of pulse, so the extra energy comes in waves, but you saw it pulse there for a second. And um, speaking of, if you look at this, it'll show you how much MJ it is currently consuming. And uh, as you can see, it goes up and down pretty rapidly. So we're not getting a consistent flow of power. But um, I don't know. We talked about steam, but that just seems like such a hassle at this point, you know? Especially since I don't think we're going to be running this thing much longer. I mean, what do we really need to build a rocket? Just a bunch of uh, bunch of iron, right? Got to build some gear to wear so we don't die on the moon. That's, that's all pretty straightforward. All right, sandstone. We got plenty of it. Well, we've got plenty of sand. And we can we can transmute that into stone. Why is my shift button not working? What what's happening? Shift? Can we not shift click into things? No, we can. It's just my shift button's not working. Dang flobbit. Well folks, I just went on an Odyssey. Uh, fortunately, it looks like the footage saved, so I didn't lose any of it. But just for a moment, let me tell you a cautionary tale about buying Razor products. Now, when I first bought Razor products, uh, they worked flawlessly, and they functioned expertly, and I couldn't have a complaint in the world to lodge with them. Everything was a hunky-dory. I actually had a subscriber comment and say, don't, don't buy Razor. Don't do that. They make garbage. And I was like, oh, no, they simply do not. It cannot be true. I question you and your knowledge because the products are, are expertly crafted and, and are delightfully functional. And I'm having no trouble with them whatsoever. And that was true, believe it or not, for many years. Uh, I, I did not initially have trouble with the Durazor product. Yeah, they, they were working great. But over time, uh, my, my Razor products are a little older, so they still use uh, Synapse version 2, which would not be an issue if they continued to update Synapse 2. They don't. I'll take a nap. So I have a Razer mouse with 12 buttons on it. I think it's the Mamba Wireless might be on my Mac. And I adore it. I adore the, the functionality of the mouse because it allows me to have all of my editing buttons right at my thumb. So I can switch to a blade tool, to a select tool, to a trim tool. I can do all of that without ever, you know, reaching for the keyboard or moving the mouse across the screen. I just touch a button and my fingers are so 
so familiar with it that we're at a point now where I, I can't edit without this functionality. Some of you may remember a couple of years ago, there was a macOS update that broke Synapse. And I just didn't, I didn't edit for about two weeks because I threw one in the timeline and I realized I just, I don't know what the keyboard shortcuts are anymore. No clue whatsoever. I'm so used to them being at my thumb tip that I had to wait for the Synapse update to come out so I could continue using my mouse with the 12 keys. So I love that. And then on the gaming PC, I've got an older model Razer, what is this, an adder, death adder? and then a Razer Orb Weaver that I use in place of a keyboard. I find it much more ergonomically comfortable, and uh, the fact that you can set like custom profiles and stuff and different key combinations so I can keep track of which keys, which I love it. It's great, or at least it was. That's going to be a running theory here. There's Not a running theory, <laughs> a running theme. The running theme is that it used to be great. I want to make Razer great again, but Razer doesn't want to. Razer wants to suck, apparently. So, the issue that we're having today, and it's an issue that we've had for a while now, Synapse doesn't work. Synapse 2 doesn't work, and none of my devices work with Synapse 3. I think one of them did. No, no, not none of them do. None of them work with Synapse 3. So, you know, in order to actually use Synapse... Hold on, how, let me count something. Seven, eight, and then there's going to be a trim piece of brick here. If we wanted to make them the same length, which I, I guess we do. And then, I don't know, we'll figure out the rest from, from there. Uh, <clears throat> Razer Synapse 3 is the new thing on the block, and every new product that comes out with it goes with Razer Synapse 3. And apparently, it also sucks, according to what I've been reading on the internet. Here's the problem, though. Uh, Synapse 3 isn't even available for Mac OS, so that sucks. Uh, and then furthermore, uh, another issue, another glaring issue that I'm dealing with is uh, Synapse 2 hasn't been updated on macOS for a while. So the problem there is that it just kind of breaks sometimes. Like the mouse buttons don't do what they're programmed to do. And even if I go into the, pro uh, the program and I reprogram them, they just don't work. There's profiles that I deleted. I've deleted them off the application. I've deleted them out of Synapse, but they just come back all by themselves. They'll just reappear. Even if I disable... Uh, online sync, they'll just kind of come back after a little while, and it'll switch to them by itself and just be like, this is what you want, right? And it's not. And I cannot fathom how anyone, any company that sells mice and keyboards as their, like, primary form of business can exist while making products that are so patently flawed, it just it boggles the mind. I don't understand... How you can't program a basic mouse keyboard control software. It, it's, it's unfathomable that it can be so bad. And it is. It's so bad. That's the thing. Maybe a little bad. Maybe I can understand that. But it's so bad. And it's been like that for years. And if you look it up, people have complained about it for years. This isn't an issue I'm having. This is a problem everyone's having. And Razer just you can't fix it. They're too inept. They're too busy making free laptops. Now, laptops have problems, too. That's not what we're talking about. Okay? So that's the problem I'm having on the PC. Or on the Mac. On the PC, where I've got my, my Death Adder and my Orb Weaver. Very similar problems uh, with Synapse. Uh, but the one problem is that it will pick a... It'll just ignore my profiles, and when I switch between them, it'll switch... But it won't actually switch. This is on the, the Death Adder. No, I'm sorry. This is on the Orb Weaver, which is my little mini keyboard that I use, right? It'll just be like, no. No, no. This is not what you think you want. That's not what you want. Like, you think that that's what you want, but that's not what you actually want. I'm not going to give you that. I'm not going to do what you want me to. I'm sorry, but no. I'm like, but, but why, though? But, but why don't you just... And it'll get stuck on a certain color configuration, and it won't switch to the one that I want. All of this is going somewhere, I promise. This is a bit of a rant, but hear me out. With my new setup, I found that it was convenient to get a KVM, but not a real KVM. KVM stands for Keyboard uh, Video Mouse. It's a little box, you push the button, and it switches your video keyboard and mouse to a different computer. I cheaped out, I got, uh, it's, it's basically just a USB switch. It's still labeled as a KVM, but there's no video pass through. It's just four USB ports to two different computers. And when you switch between them, it actually works fine with every product that I own, except the Razer ones. 
Because you see, when you switch between, I've got it hooked up to my, my Mac and my gaming PC. When you switch between them, they have to load into Synapse. And Synapse is a notoriously broken program. And so uh, I accidentally switched between them a second ago. I did it on purpose. I wanted to adjust something on the Mac. So when I switched over, Synapse on the Mac decided that it was going to change the profile for the Orb Weaver. But it was going to set it to a profile that I deleted years ago. That's not an exaggeration. A profile that I deleted years ago! So I switch it over. It switches to this now deleted profile. When I went back to the PC, that's when Shift broke. But it gets worse than that. Because when I switched back over to the PC, Synapse broke my Mac? I guess it got stuck in some sort of an error because the device suddenly disconnected, which that's what USB is designed to do, so it shouldn't have been surprised by that. But I guess that it was, because it just crashed. So Synapse crashed and took my Mac down with it? Macs don't just shut down. It doesn't happen. It's sad. I, I it's just, just think, well... I've, I've had some trouble with mine in the past, but I, I got it fixed. There was a software problem. But it, it just it, it took the whole thing down. The whole system went down because Synapse had a hiccup. And it all died. And then I had to reboot the PC. And here's the thing. I couldn't get my Orb Weaver to go back to the correct settings. I was on the home screen when my Mac was rebooting. Hammering the shift button and being like, why aren't you working? Switching between all the profiles. Rebooted the computer a couple of times. Finally, what I had to do was I had to turn off the computer, get up and switch off the power supply, come back, unplug the orb weaver completely from the system, turn the system back on, and then plug in the orb weaver, then remake the profile. And now it's working, except the colors are still wrong. So the point of all of this is just to say, if you ever find yourself thinking, man, I'm going to buy a Razer product, don't! All right, well, I've been building away. I kind of took a pause to just build in silence while I I worked on my attitude and I got myself, you know, straightened out. And I just wanted to say to Razor, hey, screw you, go be more competent. Uh, but to everyone else, I apologize for turning this into a venting session. That's the kind of content that would have, you know, used to be cut when I when I cared about, um, well, quality of content. But uh, what, what does it matter now? It's all over. We're just racing towards the finish line here. So, uh, what we're gonna go do now is a little thing I like to call uh, destroying the forest for fuel. We need fuel. Uh, desperately. We're running really low. Oh, we got a bit of fuel here. But I'll tell you what we're gonna do with that fuel. All that's going in there. And then what's left of this is going down here. And then I'm gonna make a couple of ruby axes and we're gonna go fell the forest. You know, something I think we should talk about, uh, because I brought this up in episode... 10 or 11, uh, one of the first couple of ones back from the, uh, in quotes, break. I mentioned that you can't pause recordings in OBS on macOS, and that was based solely on the fact that with the settings I was using in the video toolbox and all of that, I couldn't figure out how to do it. Like, the pause button was not showing up. Strangely enough, if I go from advanced mode in OBS, I was just kind of fiddling around in there looking at things the other day. Uh, I realized that it, actually the pause option is there, but you have to use one of the like the default setups in OBS. Now I know on on Windows, all you have to do is disable that box in your stream settings or, or in recording settings that says you know by default when you set up OBS it's like it uses your stream settings as the default recording settings as well, and you click a box that says you know use. Default settings. Well, if you untick that box, you get the ability to change your recording settings, and when you do that, you get access to the pause button. Uh, not so on Mac OS, right? Because I'm not using the same settings as streaming. In fact, the streaming settings are still the default settings. I haven't touched them because I don't stream. Uh, but I did go in and I changed. I'm doing a custom FFmpeg output. Uh, using the like the the video toolbox encoder from Mac OS and all of that, we've talked about this before, I believe. But uh, it's different settings. Yet I, I cannot pause the recordings. If I go in and I, I change it from advanced to simple, it, literally any of the simple options will work. It'll give me the option to pause recordings. Unfortunately, the video quality is garbage. It's not good. It doesn't look good. 
and when I crank it up to like lossless mode, for example, uh, the computer starts to throw a fit and starts to drop frames. So I, I don't know what the deal is. I suppose it's possible that maybe, you know, if I really want this as an option, I might just have to uh, go ahead and hold on a second. Let me throw some salt in there or something so I can pick up these blocks of wood. My inventory is all crowded up already. I kind of want this stuff, though. What do I not need? What do I really not need? Bones could be useful. Stone stairs. We can just make a billion more of those. If I want the pause option, I guess I'm going to have to work for it. I'm going to have to go in there and somehow or another, I'm going to have to just find the right mix of settings that will allow me to... First off, with the simple recording, you can't select which audio channels to record, which is important for me because I do record the the voice audio and the game audio on separate channels uh, for just obvious production reasons. And I'm going to need to figure out how to make that work. And I don't want to use simple recording if I don't have to. I want to be able to go in there and really custom dial in all of the settings. But I'd also really like to have back pause recording because this recording is is well over an hour long. For a video that's going to end up being probably at this rate, eh, we're probably, probably close to the 20 minute mark of me talking, I would wager. So actually, we're, we're getting pretty close to uh, to being done here. And uh, we'll look at this horrible mistake that I've made. I am a fool. I didn't know. How was I to know? You didn't know either. Don't you lie. You didn't know that you could put spider webs on these doors. But now that we know... I bet you we just shift right click with the hammer to get them back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. I don't. <laughs> I crouch with control. For a second, I was like, "That's not. That's not my shift key." I, I don't use shift for crouching in any game, including Minecraft. In fact, I, shift isn't being used when I move around in Minecraft right now. I guess I'll go ahead and show you what I've done. It's not that impressive. I, I built the big square and I started to kind of fill in the holes and then I ran out of sandstone. So I went and got more and then when I was back at the base getting more sandstone, I realized that um, unfortunately... Oh no, it's it's dangerously close to looking like a swastika on the minimap. That was not intentional. I mean, if it was intentional, it would have just been a swastika on the minimap. But I think if it was, no one would question that. People would just be like, lol, funny joke, man. Hitler, what a bad guy. But the fact that it just looks vaguely like one is the sort of thing that someone's going to look at and be like, hey, wait a minute, he's trying to brainwash the youth! Right? Like, if it's real blatant, no one cares. But if it's just kind of coy, people lose their minds. Uh, no, I just ran out of sandstone is all that happened there. I'll get some more, don't worry about it. Uh, so in conclusion for today's episode, uh, forests are made for chopping, and that's just what I'll do. One of these days, I'm going to bring my forest and chop it all over you. Oh, these are still going. Why isn't this thing moving? What? Oh, it is. Okay. Just didn't look like it was. That's fine. What's your story? Have some of that. You too. Take some of that. I'm putting odd numbers in these, which I'm sure is driving people crazy. But um, I'm trying to learn to let that sort of stuff go. You know? Because I can't... I can't, I can't live the rest of my life letting it hold me back. I can't let it hold me back anymore. Just trying to let it go. You know, turn away and, and slam that door. I watched Frozen the other day, can you tell? We're going to go now. I'm going to play around with OBS. And maybe next time we come back, we'll have some settings that work with the pause button. Uh, hey, uh, until next time, thank you folks for watching. God bless you all. And I'll see you later. Bye!